what is the deal with Sally? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I the do know. We're but... asking you, we got, you have to tell us something about Sally. <laughs> well, she was spoke, <laughs> she was supposed <laughs> to come like seven times. She, she missed like seven flights. Um, and I think that, that's why we sent a producer to be like, if she's going to come, then we need to make sure she gets on a plane. How and do you miss seven flights. Well, it's it's not like the taxi didn't show up. Like you right. you actively like don't go to the airport. You know, like like uh, so, yeah, it wasn't like oh, oops, I missed it. Um, and listen, I, if I'm being honest, like uh, that bummed me out because. This is a show that everyone wants to go on. Like every year I get calls like as they think that like I have some power, but like I get calls from people who been on the show being like, I want to go to paradise. What do I got to do? How do I get there? You know, like I'm single, uh, I'm in good shape or whatever. And I would love to go on the show. It's a hard ticket to get. Um, and it's a little, it was a big kind of a bummer for someone who like, we wanted her to go. There are people that wanted her to be there in terms of guys. Like you see that like, Justin, someone that like wants wants to see her there. Um, we kind of kept this spot for her and she kept on missing the flights and stuff. Uh, and then we got really close and the suitcase came, but she didn't show up. Um, so, but we had to explain like what happened. Like it was a huge storyline in our world that like we had spent so much mental energy getting this girl to come and he didn't but her suitcase did which made no sense so we had to tell the story but we had no footage of it so then they were like well let's just do a reenactment wells you and davo who's part of the crew is like you guys just play all the parts so we can tell the story and be done with it so should we expect her in future episodes she comes she does she come. come okay she, so comes. she comes and does she find love uh, I don't know. I, well, I can't say that. I can't, I can't, I can't spoil that. Okay. Well, is she someone that you're rooting for to find love? I'm rooting for everyone to find love. Well, let's talk about this season so far. A lot of drama this week already. I mean, Romeo, Genevieve, how do you kind of feel about the season? You never know how they're going to turn out. And when you're doing it, you're so kind of caught up in like the day-to-day -day minutia of it all. Um, so you never know if it's gonna be good or not. And I gotta say like, it's the first two episodes I think are amazingly good. Um, yeah. Like the first like the first episode was so funny. Like the lace loose thing was, was just what chef's kiss. Like her like m faking the birthday thing. Like I remember it happening and thinking it was funny, but I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. Um, and then- How the is it by the way, having lace back in the mix? I, I love lace. Like- You guys were friends, right? Yeah, I was I was a cast member with her on season three of Parents. Um, and here, listen, the, the truth of the matter is, is that like I've always said, like Bachelor in Paradise is like reality TV all stars, and Lace is just like an OG, very good TV maker. Like I, I, I was just watching that first episode, being like, I I feel like her back must hurt because she's carrying this episode right now, <laughs> and and I love that for her too. Like I was talking to her the other day, being like. Uh, you are completely carried the first episode. You were so good. It was so funny. So I love her. And Genevieve's like the new crop of people who are just like making phenomenal television. Like, and I see that she's getting like a lot of kind of hate online, which makes me feel terrible because she's so good. Like she's being very, very honest and real. And uh, I think she's hilarious. Who are you rooting for in terms of people who are having like early love connections like Shanae and Logan or who, who do you root for? Well, I feel like Brandon and Serene are like already married with kids and like it's over. Like, right. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like they got married like day one. Uh, of the show, but I am rooting for them because they are so attractive. Like they, I want them to have children just so we'll see, I see what they look like. Cause they are- Society's sake. Yeah, like uh, the world needs this. Like it's been a rough couple of years. So no pressure, pressure guys. Uh, so I love them though. And I'm rooting for them. Um, I'll tell you who I'm rooting for. I think the most is, is Michael. Oh, um, how come? He, 
Well, he's living in a different world than everybody else. You know, uh, you know, he's a widower with a kid. Um, so the stakes for him are much higher than everybody else. I mean, like it's much different being, you know, like a personal trainer who's 23 on the beach and then being Michael, who's got like real responsibilities and real life stakes back at home. Yeah. Um, and, and then not, not to mention, he's just a very nice guy. Congratulations on the wedding. You guys are over a month down now. What are you loving most about married life? Um, I, I can't stop playing with this ring. I, I it's <laughs> really, I've never, I've never been a jewelry person and now I have this ring and I, I like, I'm always playing with it. it. It's the weirdest thing in the world. I mean, I know that's not the most romantic answer, but like, I don't know, the ring's weird. Like I look down and I see it and it like makes me excited and I play with it and stuff. And that's like the thing that changed the most, I feel like for me, because we always felt like we were married. I mean, we had been living together for the past, you know, th four and a half years. Um, so, so yeah, not much has changed other than like, I have, I have jewelry now. Is she gonna take your last name or will you guys like hyphenate and become Highland Dash Adams? Well, I think that like, professionally she will be sarah highland because that name is is iconic now you know uh which i think which i think is smart <laughs> i i you know 15 years of working in the business all all you know erased by my stupid last name uh but i do think like there's a world in which she takes my last name for like travel purposes, like, so it's not a pain in the butt to like board together on planes and things. Right, so, so like legally, so that the passport says. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's fair.